This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. <clears throat> okay, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. Bruchem Abayim. We continue in the Sefer Tarma Devaira. Our uh, Baruch Hashem, this is already our eighth day learning the Sefer Tarma Devaira. And uh, let us just begin by mentioning a few words about the importance of regular study of Musr, like we've been doing. In the Psicha to the Sefer, ya- Or Yahel. In the Sefer, in the Psicha to the Sefer, Or Yahel of Rabbi Leib Chasman, he says, Mi yakar He who could find something more precious than life itself, Hu yimtza davar yoyser yakar mi Musr. Well, could find something more precious than Musr. Meaning, if you want to know, is there anything in this world more precious than the study of Musr? Yes, if you could find something more precious than life itself, then you could find something more precious than the study of Musr. In fact, Rabbi Yo Dessler writes in Mechtam El Yo Chelek Aleph, page 57, Beli limit a Musr without the study of Musr, e efshir lahagia el ms. It is impossible to reach the truth. Okay, we consider, we continue in the term of Devaira. We are up to the fourth Mida. We did Mikael Kamaicha, Noise Avoin, Va'oiver Al Pesha. And now we do <coughs> the Mida of Lesheiris Nachalasei. Literally, the remnant of his heritage, which refers to the Jewish people that God's mercy extends specifically to the Jewish people. However, the Tarma Devara interprets this rather uniquely. He says, Hine HaKadosh Baruch Hu Misnahig Im Yisrael B'Darach Zay. Behold, God conducts Himself with the Jewish people in the following fashion. Oimer, God says, Ma'es Ali Yisrael, what could I do for the Jewish people? What could I do to them? And how, how could I harm them? V'hem kroivai, they're my relative. She'er basar li imahem. I have a blood relationship with them. I have a family kin with them. She'eris is a lashon of she'er. She'er refers to one's wife. God says, my feeling toward the Jewish people is I'm related to them. I have, so to speak, even though we can't say it, but God says it, I have almost a physical blood relationship with the Jewish people. Shehim bas zug Baruch Hu, they are the mate, so to speak, of God. They are His companion. They are His zug. The Kaira la biti, God calls her, referring to Israel, my daughter, achoisi, my sister, imi, my mother. Kedeper shuzal, like Chazal explained in Shashirim, that God refers to us in many endearing terms. He calls us, my, you're my daughter, you're my sister, you're my mother. Uchsiv, and the Pasuk says, Yisrael am kroivai, the Jewish people are my close nation. Literally, they are close to Him. So we would, tend, we would think that means that when we call out, God listens to us. But it means more than that. More than just He's close to us. He has a relation with us. He's related to us. Mamish kurva yeshla imahem. He mamish has a, a kurva with them. Uvan of Him. They are His children. Vahainu l'she'iris nachalasai. That is to the remnant of his nachala, lashon she'er basar, a language of physical relationship. In other words, even though we can't use this terminology, but it's in some degree a mashal. But the mashal explains the extent of it, where God says, "My what the way I feel about you, the way you should relate to me, the way you should think of me, is that I literally have a closeness of a blood relationship with you." You're my children, like we've said so many times. We are always the children of Hashem. This is indicated in the word L'She'iris, a lashon of She'er. And in the end of the day, they are His heritage. And what does God say? You know what He says? If I punish them, It is my pain. I'm the one who, who, it hurts me. When God has to bring difficulty, illness, chasashalom, trouble, challenges, the one who it hurts the most is it hurts God the most. Kidachsiv, like the Pasuk says in Yeshaya, Bechol tsarasam loy tsar. Im 
in all of their pain, loitzar, it is a pain to him. Literally, in all their pain, he is hurt. Bechol tzara isam, when in all the pain of the Jew, loitzar, it's painful to Hashem. Now, this is spelled with a vav. Vav reads loy to him. Loy with a vav is to him. But it's written with an aleph. Ksiv ba'aleph. It's written with an aleph. Loimar, as if to say, Shetzaram magia la pele ho elyon. That their tsar reaches the uppermost wonder. Now let's explain what this means. The uppermost wonder is a Kabbalistic term. Rev. Avram Yitzchak Blach, he explains that when we say that it pains God, it pains him so deeply that it doesn't just pain him in the way he manifests to this world, but it pains him in his innermost essence, if there's such a concept. The Pele Ho'elyon. The Pele Ho'elyon is the Aleph of the Bria. The Aleph of the Bria is, what's the beginning of the Bria? The beginning of the Bria is God's first thought to create the world. The starting point of creation is God's first thought to create the world. That's the beginning of the Bria. That's the Aleph of the Bria. And the Pigam reaches what, now the Aleph of the Bria, to our vantage point, we call it the Pele. Because Aleph Lamed Pe, read the other way around, is, is read Pe Lamed Aleph. So it, what, what this indicates is, God is so deeply troubled and hurt and pained when we, when we suffer, that literally it reaches the most essential part of God's existence. Now, this is indicated in, it's spelled Loitzar, so it's read as follows. There's a footnote in the bottom. Loimar Shetzaram Magia Lapelo Ha'elyon, which is the Mida of the Kesar. We read it, Bechol Tsarasam Le'alef Tsar. It reaches the Aleph, it hurts the Aleph of, of Hashem's existence. Bechol Shekein Ledu Partsufim, certainly to the dual face. Here in the English it's translated the dual visage. What is the dual face? The dual face are the two midois through which God runs the world. And we'll have to speak about this at length on another occasion. The world is conducted through ten spherois. So the two main spherois with which God runs the world are Tiferes and Malchus. Now the two panim are you now together, Tiferes and Malchus. Vav is Tiferes. It includes all the Midas from Chesed, which is the first Midah, to Yesod, which is the sixth Midah. V'chol tsar isam, lo yitzar, to the Vav, levav tsar. It causes the Vav tsar. But not only does the pain reach the innermost sanctum, which the Zayar HaKadosh in Parshas Vayera explains that typically... Where God exists, essentially, there's no tsar. There's a concept of oiz v'chedva b'mekoimai. Nevertheless, this pain reaches all the way to the essence of the aleph, which we call the pele ho'elyon. So it's red. Um, it not only reaches the aleph, but even to the du fartsufim shabahen ikar ha'hanhaga. With these two midas, namely Tiferes and Malchus, God runs the world. The Karinon Bivav Loitzar, which is explained even to the Vav, even to the midas, the sixth midas, God is pained. Uchsiv, and furthermore, it says in Shoftim Vatikzar Nafshay Baamal Yisrael, God's soul, so to speak, could not t- t- uh, tolerate the Tsar of Klal Yisrael. Amal is a lashon of Tsar. He cannot bear their pain, uklinim and their shame. So when a Jew sit, um, when a Jew suffers, it's like a person. If a person wanted to understand how does the Rebbeinu Shalom feel when he sees a Jew suffering, the same way Chas Hashem we feel when we see a relative suffer. That is how God feels when He sees us suffer. So how do we apply this to ourselves? Let's just begin this concept that if God cannot. Beer, when he sees our pain and feels our pain and witnesses our pain, so too we need to act that way when we see the pain of another Jew. Understand and recognize that the same way we are all blood relatives with God, we are all blood relatives with each other. And when another Jew suffers, it should literally 
hurt a person as if it would be a close relative. So to a person with their friend. All of Israel are blood relatives. These with these. All the souls are incorporated together. Each soul, meaning my soul contains a piece of all the souls of Kali Yisrael. Your soul contains a piece of all the souls of Kali Yisrael. So therefore, when you suffer, a person has to understand, then everyone is suffering. Because every Jew's soul is connected to the soul of another Jew. Yesh bezeh chilek zeh. This Jew has a chilek of his soul. Uvazeh chilek zeh. And he has a chilek of my soul. And therefore, Therefore, there is no comparison when many do a mitzvah as when few do a mitzvah. It is because, the reason for this is because we are all united and our souls complement each other. In other words, the idea is, since my soul already contains everyone else's soul, when you join with me, that complements me, because I have within me you. And this will elaborate on this further, Bez Hashem, next week. I want to wish everyone um, a good Shabbos. Bez Hashem, we have a share this evening at 9 o'clock, another Zoom share. Um, if you're on the WhatsApp or on the email, uh, you can access it. Uh, the share is 9 p.m., and also, Bez Hashem, tomorrow morning at 10.30, the share that we give in the Young Israel will also be on Zoom. And I'm hoping that today's, um, the technical aspect of the share also worked out a little bit better because I did fix the, uh, the speed and I hope, uh, I hope you could tell a difference. Please let me know Big if that... Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm operating on much higher uh, clarity. So, uh, Bez Hashem, uh, this evening at 9 o'clock, if, if you want to join us, uh, the information is available. Have a good day. Bracha v'atzlacha. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.